Hi and welcome. Welcome back. I'm here again with Adrian, and uh, we're glad to be with you. Uh, we're, and Adrian and I have worked together for at least 10 years, and it's been an incredibly rich journey, as we spoke about in the, in the last video. Um, and what we're exploring here is are the, the many, many, over time we've done many, many things that um, have helped, helped you to really unwind the compression and the tensional uh, difficulties of scoliosis and just how, how that is a, a really uh, amazing experience, but, uh, but also just uh, frustrating. Very frustrating, exactly. And also uh, how you can either spend a lot of time trying to have someone else fix you, or you can be with people who can really help you to empower yourself. And that's really what Adrian's done, you know, is uh, along with the work that we do together, is that you work, you also work with some other incredible people uh, in body work and um, many other forms that are, have been, been great. So it's really, really, really rich and wonderful. Um, so what we're, what we're doing here right now is, uh, is Adrian, Adrian's gonna, give you a sense of um, how we work with some of the archetypal postures and the erector sizes coming up to enliven whole body, unravel spine, but also, um, you know, uh, some things that we've sort of developed, which is how does, how do we work with the spirals of the pelvis, spine, shoulders, the contralateral spiral movement. And so we're going to show you, Adrian's going to kind of give you an idea of some things that she does to begin right here, and then I'm going to come up and give her some assistance in standing spirals with the standing walking in place, and you'll see our progression right here. So, yeah. Adrian, if you want to say a little bit about what you're noticing as you spiral in place. Well, at first, it feels um, not to a very equal. And then, but as I begin to tr uh, feel it more, I can definitely feel one side and one side of the ridge of the rib cage. Uh, moves very differently, and it's that that change that the body has trouble um, recognizing. And so, I did, you can see now, I even had to slow down a bit yes. in order to make sure that this rib goes the whole way. Yes, this one goes the whole way faster. This one. If I were to go faster, when it would just uh, cut off half of the trip. Right. So that is, and sometimes it might be easier to come forward, but generally I like to. This is kind of a a rehearsal of walking. That's right. So this is this is the way that we look at how we set up walking. It's sitting bone, contralateral spirals, and then now you'll see how we layer that with the movement of whole rib, shoulder blade, like that. What that? How we work with that? So Adrian, if you want to go into the toe sit, here's that archetypal posture of sitting, releasing, sitting down, and letting the heavy tail give internal lift. And then from there you reach back through your heels to hip extension forward. Very important to get the feeling of hamstrings bringing you forward, inner thigh lift as you reach back through your feet. And then from there you step forward with one foot, come off the back foot, very good, and come up. Here we go. And of course you do the other side. 
and we generally do each side about three, three to five times. So that's how you keep enlivening each side of the spine. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to put my hands right around the lumbosacral uh, area for Adrian to sense the movement of her sacrum and her ilium, to feel how there's a movement there. And she's playing with the weight shift, playing with weight shift, and how the release of the shoulder blade, as you press into the foot, release. Feel the down the back, up the front. How does the inner ear come up as the shoulder blade releases down? Feel how the head stays centered. Yes. Right. And each side is going to have its own support system. So you get that feeling of what does that feel like? What does it feel like? And what does it feel like to you, Adrian? Uh, well, when I'm feeling your support, I, I, I can keep within a certain uh, parameter. But the, when you're gone, I uh, I can go anywhere. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and yeah. so that's part of the good, good, good part and not so good. That's it. So having that, have, beginning to build that relational balance to have each side begin to talk to the other side. So they're beginning to create more of a core coordination, a way of communicating with one another. So what we did now in order for my hands to my hands are now leaving, but now how Adrienne can find her own support, it's like the band is now where my hands were. And I think I need it. I, I need more. I need... Did you like it double? Mm -hmm. Sure. It, it, the, the more pull, the more information I get. Yep. So then you get that feeling. And, and I can... You see how I able to uh, and the other piece that gives Adrian a lot of information is because she's got more density on her right side and for me to give her more lateral here on the right and more lift on the on the left. The interior of the left. Right, on the interior. On some interior, inner thigh on the left, outer leg on the right, and it just feeds her each side talking to the other side. So on the other side, not so much support is necessary, but on this side. Yeah, and now that fills out that left side that is looking for support. Mm -hmm. This, both, just the opposite is happening with, and then this is the... Yeah, and you see how this is a whole body exercise, very different than trying to treat one area. Yes. And now you're talking, this is core coordination, mm -hmm. and that is fabulous. Mm -hmm. Just incredible. Yeah. It's like a dance. It is a dance. It's a dance. Core coordination. All we need is some music. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. Mm -hmm. Bye.